Hi. Okay, so we're gonna test out a little bit of a new uh, process. Um, since it's usually so early in the morning when we do our little uh, LinkedIn puzzles of the day, um, I think I'm just gonna chit chat about one topic as I do my puzzles. Um, that way we can at least have some conversation going on around sex and sexuality, which again is my specialty because I am Sophie of sexwithsophie.com and my job is to teach people how to talk to each other about sex and sexual topics and sexuality. So today I think I just want to kind of loosely chat about what it is to be non-binary and what that means um, as we go through our LinkedIn puzzles. And we're just going to keep it short because, again, I'm going to test this out. And feel free to interrupt me at any time um, if you have questions or comments about any of the topics that I've listed above, um, about being non-binary, especially if you are non-binary, because um, I am not. So I'm definitely uh, just speaking from, I guess, a clinical perspective, <laughs> even though I am not a clinician. Uh, just maybe what I've researched and what I've, what I've learned and know from uh, interacting with and uh, having non-binary friends and, and understanding what it means. Um, so yeah, let's get into it because I don't have a lot of time today. We're going to keep this one really short just to see how this goes. Um, again, feel free to call in or comment, but let's do it. <laughs> so um, let me tr just check the feed real quick. I always like to make sure you can actually see me. Um, Alrighty, let's go to okay. Yeah, hi. Okay. So again, I like to start with the my least favorite to most favorite LinkedIn games of the day. Um, my least favorite is cross climb. So as we do this one, I just want to quickly say that uh, non-binary is just a gender term. Um, sometimes people will misunderstand sex versus gender. So I'll explain that definition when we get done with the, our little puzzle here. So let's see. A musical group like Maroon 5 and Coldplay, I'm going to guess band. Oh, it already went to the next one. A sheet of glass, sheet of glass, ah. small parts strung onto a friendship bracelet bead, a uh, Batman villain whose name is an anagram of Bean, Bane, Bane, <laughs> can't talk like him, demonstrate flexibility bend I'm gonna guess are they trying to say a sheet of glass is lead no that's not right oh I know a pain a pain of glass so we've got pain I'm gonna put them in order these are a bit of a pain they're not that challenging um, so now the top row is a sheet of paper and a book and what you do to a book, a page, and you read it. And so again, the um, difference between sex and gender is that sex are things that you cannot really alter when you're talking about like specifically genotypic sex. That's your chromosomes, your genes, your, your DNA. Um, but there are aspects of your sex that you can alter. Um, these would be things like your phenotypic sex traits, which are like um, having a penis, a vagina, your sex organs, your hormones, things like that. And you also have like secondary sex characteristics that are phenotypic. Um, and those would be like facial hair, boobs, hips, things like that. Um, so sex when we're describing a person's sex we tend to say they're male female um, if you don't fall into that binary then you're considered intersex and that's it male female intersex that's kind of all you get they have some of course like uh, very specifics with intersex that 
you know, they can describe their sex in a different way. But for the most part, those are the three sexes. Now with gender, that's a societal construct. That's what we all deem a woman looks like or a man is or whatever um, collectively. And then we individually form our gender schemas to uh, help us um, quickly, I guess, understand what what society's trying to tell us and how we categorize man, woman, uh, boy, girl. So with gender, uh, you have a lot more ways to describe that. So you have man, woman, boy, girl, but you also have where you could be agender, where you feel as though you don't have a gender. You could be um, uh, gender fluid, where you move between genders. You could be, again, what we're talking about today, non-binary. Where you just don't again fit into that by the 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 binary of man woman, you could be androgynous. You could be um, uh, transgender, where you, uh, uh, you 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 don't meet or match the gender schema that you were born with. So if you were born a female at birth, but you are a man, and you feel like you're a man. Um, and you match more so with the gender mm-hmm. schema that you've built of what a man is than your transgender man. And so non-binary people just don't, they're considered trans, um, but they don't fit into that <laughs> binary very snugly. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of what non-binary means. Let's move on to um, our second puzzle that I like to do. We're going to play Pinpoint. This one, again, super simple, usually a duet. I'm gonna say things that come in twos. And of course, things that require two people. So not the most challenging that took what? (laughs) What was that? How long was that? It's not gonna tell us. Yeah, I guess we solved in one guess. It's not gonna say how long it took us. Uh, Let's go ahead and play tango. Oh, but before we do, I wanna say, I saw a video on Twitter uh, that just broke my heart. Broke my heart. It broke Day's heart, too. (laughs) But uh, there was a young uh, person who was being asked, um, you know, well, if you could be in front of the presidential candidates right now, what would you ask, like, Kamala Harris? And they said, um, uh, I would say they were a non-binary person for sure. They, you, you know, they appeared... Um, maybe androgynous or masculine presenting but they might have been a female at birth Um, but they were obviously non-binary that was their gender expression so when asked you know if she could ask Kamala Harris anything she said you know I would wonder when how soon you could pass the uh, hi the like a, a bill or some kind of a law that that helps with equality um you know it was nice so then the the presenter said okay well if you could ask donald trump anything what would you ask him and they said i would ask them if they even think i'm a real human being <laughs> i mean like just talk about like it made the presenter like take a step back and I'm even it makes me really sad just thinking about how they must have felt and how they must feel every single fucking day so just I don't know man like I that's kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing it's just to uh, I'm sorry that makes mommy sad but you make mommy happy so <laughs> yeah just it, it's just it sucks that people who just don't fit into exactly what you deem to be a boy or a girl or if you don't love how you know you're expected to love or whatever you know it doesn't mean you're any less valuable or worthy so again let's move on to uh tango (laughs) but that's again why i find it's so important to just understand people a little bit better because we're all people. So this game, um, you can't have more than two in a row. When you see the symbols, uh, you have to have the opposite one on either side. If you see an equal, uh, 
that of course has to be the same symbol. So let's just kind of knock this one right out. <laughs> so, um, you also have to have an equal amount on each row and column. Yeah, girl. Yeah, baby. Um, so <laughs> that has to be different. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so let's complete this row. We need another sun. <laughs> we need a sun and a moon to complete this row. Uh, it's not really giving us too much. Help. I will say if we have equals here, we can't have a sun. In fact, we can't have a sun on either side of that. That's pretty easy. All right, that has to be a, a moon, which means this is a sun, because we have to have an equal amount on each row. That's usually three and three. This one, we need a sun and a moon. Um, this is equal, so it can't be a moon. Those are suns. Uh, since we have three suns, we need three moons, so there we go. We can't have uh, three in a row, so we know that's a sun and that's a sun. We need another moon to complete this column. Can't have two moons, more than two moons in a row. So now we need, let's see. Uh, this has no moons, so this is all moons in this row. Uh, we need two more suns. This is the opposite, so that's that. Uh, let's see, we need another sun. That's the opposite, so that's that. And we need another moon to complete that row and there we go so yeah tango very fun super cool I'm, I'm enjoying it a little more when it first came out which was like a week ago this is a brand new game i didn't really care for it but you know it's okay. um so the i guess the last thing i want to talk about with non-binary and again feel free to interrupt me at any time leave a comment uh call me and we can chat it's a little later than i normally do these normally i'm doing these at like nine in the morning my time which is four in the morning in eastern time i live in england um and so what it's uh almost three o'clock which means i have to go get my five-year-old soon um so that would be about 10 in the morning almost where you are so hopefully you've gotten your day started um and you can enjoy a quick little moment with us um, and again, I'm going to come back later in the evenings and play Roblox with my five-year-old, with said five-year-old, um, so we can um, have a little bit more of an evening time, sort of. It'll probably still be <laughs> like noonish Eastern time in America, um, but a little bit more of a reasonable hour to talk about sex and sexuality. Um, I just can't stay up too, too late anymore. I used to be such a night owl, and I still am, but... Uh, I have to get up so early to take my five-year-old to school so that's why I don't tend to uh, stay up to hours that actually make sense for people in America so sorry about that but we'll just do our best okay <laughs> so again the kind of final thing I want to talk about when it comes to being non-binary is that um, and I did mention this earlier but that if you're non-binary you are transgender um, because you're you're gender schema does not match what you were at birth unless you're intersex <laughs> then, then you actually if you're non-binary then then you're not transgender that's just your um that is your gender schema and i think that's a bit of a debate um but i i you know i think it's the debate is around whether you actually take steps to change your phenotypic sex um, as in getting HRT or doing surgeries. But there are plenty of non-binary people who still do surgeries. Like I, I saw, um, I follow a person on Instagram who uh, is non-binary, who had top surgery. She was born female um, and had top surgery. And that's all they wanted to do. They felt uh, their dysphoria went away. They had a more masculine looking chest, but the rest of them, they were fine to keep as it was. And so, you know, I think whatever people have to do to alleviate their gender dysphoria, please do it because people die when they don't. People commit suicide 
when not only they are um, not allowed to be who they feel they are and what how their gender schema uh, feels for them, but when society ostracizes them for genuinely just trying to be, again, who they are, that's when you have um, suicidal, suicidality. So it's very important, don't you think? She don't care. <laughs> that's okay. Um, all right, let's keep going. We'll, go, we'll do our last puzzle for LinkedIn, which is Queens. It's obviously my favorite. It's what, again, got me into doing all these star battle puzzles because I really enjoy them. Star battles are just queens. So I see these bottom three rows contain three different colors. So I know anything in those shapes that's outside of those bottom three rows can be taken away. So any pink and any white that's outside. Oh, it's a Christmas tree. How sweet. That's nice. I'm happy Christmas is coming up. I'm even happier that Halloween is coming up. That's my favorite holiday. All right, so <laughs> we know there can't be a star here because then that would eliminate all of the pinks. Um, can't be a star here because that would eliminate all of the yellow. Can't be a star here because that would eliminate all of the green. Um, and then there can't be a star here because that would eliminate the blue. In fact, there can't be a star except for anywhere uh, on this row except for the blue. Um, and that's because if you had stars anywhere, they would cancel that blue out and you need to have a star for that one. Um, now look at this. We have one, two, three colored shapes fully within these three columns. So everything outside of these shapes can go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, that's in those three columns. So now we have where the pink is only within this column. So not only can we eliminate where there's pink anywhere else, but we can take away this one because it would eliminate the pink if there were a star there. Um, boop, 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 ba -choo. There are only two colors uh, or shapes fully within these two rows. <laughs> I little foot. So I can take these away. Uh, this column is the only place that there's purple, so I can take that away. We can take these two away because that would eliminate the orange. And since this is the only column with orange, everything outside of that uh, orange in that column can go. Uh, the only place there's gray is a no. Oh my God. How? How does she? Okay. She's strong little baby. The only place there can be gray is in this column, so all of this gray can go. <laughs> She's, she was just asleep like a second ago. All right, we gotta get ready to go in a second. Let's finish our puzzle. <laughs> You're crazy. So this red is only in this row, so everything in that row can go. And now we're finally to where we <laughs> We're finally to where we see our first star. Oh, you dropped your dummy. You want to? Oh, she's so tired. Boop. Yes, I know. So finally, we know the brown star is here. We can take away everything else in the rows and columns there. Uh, green star is here. Take away everything in that row. And in these columns, whoa, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but we can, un, uh, now we know that the blue star is here, yellow star is here. We can take away all of those. Uh, that leaves the red star here. Hi, friend. That leaves the purple star here. <laughs> this is the orange star. This is the pink star. This is the gray star. Well done, everybody. <laughs> all right, so that's it for me. <laughs> um, that's all our LinkedIn puzzles done. And again, I'll try to come on later and um, play some Roblox at a more reasonable hour to talk about sex and sexuality. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me and Day to talk about what it is to be non-binary, what that means, 
and why and how we can have more compassion and understanding for our non-binary uh, brethren. All right.